we acknowledge Emily O'Reilly's exceptional achievement as the Ombudsman and Information Commissioner from 2003 to 2013. During her tenure, she came to be recognized as a strong champion of human rights and of the importance of holding public bodies to account where issues have been raised regarding standards of services provided. She has championed the extension of the Freedom of Information Agency to public bodies such as the Garda Síochána. Before 2012, her office had jurisdiction to investigate complaints in relation to the administrative actions of government departments, local authorities and the health service executive. In 2012, legislation was passed that extended the remit of the Ombudsman to cover 180 additional public bodies, including all publicly funded universities. She began her career as a journalist in the 1970s. Since then, she has held senior positions with the Irish Press and the Sunday Tribune, as well as serving as political columnist with the Sunday Times and the political editor of the Sunday Business Post. She has also been the editor of McGill magazine. She is the author of three books. As a journalist, she was respected for her acute, well-written political commentaries, but also for her capacity to convey issues of public concern in a forceful manner. Her reportage in 1984 on the death of Anne Lovett, a teenager who died in childbirth alone, was an outstanding example of this ability to engage her readers both intellectually and emotionally, in serious social issues. Such journalism challenged hypocrisies in Irish society, but also, in keeping with her later role as Ombudsman, drew attention to how institutions failed the vulnerable. We have become, Emily O'Reilly wrote in a 2013 essay, Asylum Seekers in Our Republic, Where Have We Gone Wrong? Quite adept at apologising for the sins of earlier generations, we recognise that Ireland from the 1920s to the 1970s was a cold, dark place for some minorities and the marginalised. We are only slowly beginning to face the possibility that we ourselves may not be much better than our predecessors. We have an image of ourselves as a modern, liberal democracy with a commitment to the rule of law and the protection of human rights. But there may be significant blind spots in our self-appraisal as a society. She suggests that our treatment of asylum seekers, for example, is one such blind spot. Part of this blindness, she argues, is self-induced insofar as the state's dealings with such persons, unlike much of its public services, and unlike equivalent provision in most other countries, did not come under the Ombudsman's remit. It is characteristic of what she brought to her role, that when a complaint from an asylum seeker fell within the remit of her office, a case of a vulnerable child who fell between the cracks of our social welfare, social work, health systems and housing services that she addressed the bigger picture of institutional barriers, legislative inadequacy, political intransigence and ethical failure. As Ombudsman, she was forceful and explicit in calling government agencies to account. She stretched the boundaries of the office and was successful in gaining government support for this. Her outstanding success in this role is reflected in her election in October 2013 by the European Union Parliament to the post of European Ombudsman, with responsibility for investigating complaints about maladministration in European Union institutions, bodies, offices and agencies. Emily O'Reilly has challenged not just our institutions but our conception for ourselves but what we want from our citizenship. And it is a great honour to, to, to uh, propose her uh, pre honourableis praesi totica universitas presentu vobis hanc meum filam quam scio tam moribus quam doctrina habilium et idum esse qui admitar honoris causa ad gradum doctoris utrique jure tam civili quam canonico itque tibi fide meus testor et spondeo totica academicae. Ego optoritate mihi concesse admito te ad gradum doctoratus in utriqua jure tam civili quam canonico honoris causa.